There's three volcanoes nearby. Gifts for this god, they give them. Use this drink to attract women. It's cool. Welcome to Max Takes on the World. And today, I'm in the biggest plantation in Central America. A lot of people jobs here. Yeah, it gives a lot of people jobs. But most, most, uh, we were talking with her and we say that uh, pe people uh, start to build their, their areas, their crop areas, uh, because of remittances. People from the states, they send money, so they invest the, uh, the money in land. So a reason why this area is so fertile is because there's a volcano nearby in the volcanic ash. There's three volcanoes nearby, stand corrected, and the volcanic ash provides uh, nutrients for the ground and it helps the crops really grow. So fun fact, this culture is actually descendants of the Mayans and they use some of the Mayan farming techniques here. And these workers, they'll often work from like 6 a.m. to like nighttime for very little pay. These have to be the biggest carrots I've seen in my entire life. The crops from the plantation get shipped all around Guatemala. Mayan influence here. So we're gonna go check out uh, Mayan Ceremony Center and see what that's like. Interesting because as you can see, uh, he's white, um, but it's a really interesting reason why. So when the Spanish came to Guatemala, uh, well, not only Guatemala, but Latin America, they were destroying everything, you know, like Mayan altars, Mayan gods, everything. Mm -hmm. So they want to preserve at least one. And they, they think in, in their minds, what can we do in order to preserve the, the, our, our Mayan altar? And they say, we can, we can just give a custom to the Mayan, to the Mayan god. So they, this is a custom of a Spanish person. So the reason why he's white and he has the, a hat and everything so it, it, this is basically a mayan god with uh, a spanish custom gifts for this god they give them they give him a uh, cigars, cigars alcohol or clothes that's basically what he likes he likes alcohol cigars and clothes that's kind of like um what is this, the mexican you know talking about like going yeah. to people in mexico yeah it's similar similar, yeah. similar. uh-huh so if you want to ask him for favors, you will definitely gonna bring him like a cigar and he will be really fine with that. <laughs> yeah. We're at this restaurant and they have drinks here based on the Mayan rituals. You go ahead and tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, so, well, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the, the, this place. The name of this place is Ajitz. Ajitz is a Mayan deity. Uh, so in one hand he has uh, an axe and in the other hand has an incense holder so with with the axe he cuts mm -hmm. the bad energy and with the incense holder he uh, he attracts good energy so that's the the, the meaning of of, of 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 the name of this uh, bar so my friend the owner mm -hmm. of this restaurant he created a, a drink based on that so the name basically of the cocktail is Ahitz and we're gonna try that uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, basically, uh, he, uh, well in the Mayan rituals, the Mayan tend to burn uh, like sweet things like honey, sugar, candies, uh, things like that in order to attract good energy. So he burns uh -huh. uh, like, um, like sweet things like sugar and things like that and he combines specific types of alcohol in order to make the combination of bitter as, as the incense and sugar in order to to create this atmosphere of uh, good energies in good this energies. drink <laughs> to uh. clean your soul <laughs> i'm ready to do some soul cleansing <laughs> aromatizing the guatemalans actually use this drink to attract women it's called guapas and for girls they have guapos really good the cinnamon we even have a jacuzzi over here too. Oh, this is <laughs> sick. Basically, Ahitz. That, oh, that's his face? This is Ahitz, that's his face. And if you see here, the logo, uh -huh. it's is, is a face, but like this, like. Oh, the logo is <laughs> the face. Uh -huh, the logo is the face. Uh -huh, sick. <laughs> I'm 
definitely going to have to check out this hot tub while I'm in here. A hot tub is such a vibe. This was the first time I ever in my life had pizza inside of a jacuzzi or ate inside a jacuzzi for that matter in a restaurant like what I've never seen that before that's so cool so if you're in Zella Guatemala I recommend you come by and check out this restaurant they also have like a co-working space on the other side so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button double click that like button and until next time fight on